Just tell me when to go. Okay, cool. <laughs> From the left side of White City, this is Drinks with Mark and Rich. On today's program, we welcome Brandon and Justin Cooper to the panel, along with our very own Adam Heinlein to discuss Oktoberfest, the David L. Moss Correctional Facility, and we ponder the question, what is the sexiest job for a woman? And now, it's been a damn hard day, and we're headed to the watering hole. Mark and Rich. Hey, guys. Thanks for coming to Drinks with Mark and Rich. Tonight, we got even more white people on the stage. Mm. Rich, you want to introduce our guests here? Uh, to my uh, left here, my immediate left, is Adam Heinlein. Uh, Brandon, I don't know your name, your last name? Cooper. Cooper, okay. And then uh, this gentleman is unfamiliar to me. Uh, <laughs> if you, maybe I, I'm going to go by unfamiliar tonight. Unfamiliar Cooper. <laughs> if that's all right. There we go. That was unfamiliar, unfamiliar Justin Cooper. That was unfamiliar. You might Justin have seen him at a couple bars here or there. Doing the song doing that led into the show yeah. tonight. Justin Cooper. Very good. Thank you. All right. First, uh, well, not the first musical guest, I guess. No? But first solo act. Yeah, the house band played. The house band played, that's right. Paul yep. Schaefer and the guys. The Drinks with Mark and Rich trio featuring Adam Heinlein. Wow. We got a bunch of bitching to get to tonight. Um... No particular order, if anybody feels like. Uh, I thought we'd we'd hit some local topics yeah. first, and then we'll. But I'm sure that the haters' corner will take up a lot of time. I so, think so, especially with this many people. Yeah. So let's uh, just jump hate. right into it. A hot button uh, subject right now is uh, I don't know if anybody who listens to this realizes, but uh, we have the fourth largest Oktoberfest celebration in the country, uh, behind. Saint Brand. Saint <laughs> Chicago. And a lot of gay Germans. Uh, I think there's one in North Carolina that's bigger than ours. Hoboken. He's, Hoboken, probably huge. Uh, Dumpwater, Florida, probably a huge. <laughs> Dumpwater. Yeah. 
probably huge. No, but we have a very large uh, Oktoberfest celebration, and a lot of Oklahomans are really upset that uh, they're getting rid of 64-ounce pitchers. You can no longer have a 64-ounce pitcher all to yourself. In fact, the River Parks Authority has now taken over the, the whole thing uh, the River in the Parks midst Gestapo. of the River Parks Gestapo, apparently, which is funny because it's Oktoberfest. Yeah. Look at you. Uh, That's called tying it in. Yeah. In the, in the comedy world. In a, in a lovely little bow. Um, <laughs> but uh, River Parks decided they were going to step in and take over the whole thing. They've been running it, I guess, for the last two years. And they said the, the biggest reason is they were running it under a deficit and they want to make it profitable. Uh, but they said able the able commission here in town will no longer support a 64 ounce pitcher for a single person. Anybody care to comment? Bullshit. It's who is the able commission? It's uh, Kane's brother. <laughs> 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 no, seriously, what they're doing right now is making it so where you're going to stand in line all night long. Yeah, at that's Oktoberfest. Yeah, how profitable is beers. that? That's not profitable. It's 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 going to take our fourth best Oktoberfest in the country and turn it into something put it in stupid. It's a fucking toilet. It's what it's going to do. Well, basically what you're going to get is either you can walk around and enjoy the festivities or you can stand in line and wait for beer all night. It's one or the other. You're not going to get to be able to do both. I'm going to bring a flask. That's what it's going to lead to. Pretty much. Yeah. We're still going to get drunk at yeah, they're gonna, fast. They're it's just gonna, cheating themselves out of revenue. Oh, if there's one thing anybody in Oklahoma knows how to do, it's get drunk. Get drunk. At any open-air event, at any uh, bar. That, yeah, at any podcast. It's <laughs> uh, when you grow up in that 3.2 liquor, 3.2 beer state. Yeah. I don't think – I don't know if you guys – if you guys have traveled outside of, uh, outside of Oklahoma – there are not a lot of towns where people do as many shots as we do. I don't think there's anybody in the country that can hang with us just shooting straight liquor all night. I mean, that is... It, it's it's funny. I play shows, and if I'm not eight shots deep yeah. by the time I play, and people are like, eight shots? Eight <laughs> that's shots? a lot. Really? What? <laughs> like, no, that's You're before I play. <laughs> I still have to talk to people. <laughs> I have to have a night in front of me. No, I'm eight shots deep now. Whatever. You know? <laughs> I, was, I was getting hot. <laughs> eight shots is a lot easier than 16 beers, basically. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, but there's eight beers associated with it because at least we have three. The chaser. Two- Sure. Well, I mean, we got the beer and shot special everywhere you go. Oh, yeah. So. And I'm not really like a uh, – I'm not an import beer guy at all. I don't sit around sipping import beers and talking about what I like about it or the flavor notes that I get on the on the fore and the back end or whatever. I don't need a Rembrandt to get drunk. I just need, you know, something relatively cold. And if it tastes reminiscent of beer, then, you know, yeah, and it's just something to drink – in between whiskey for me, that's just there. You go when you're broke, just take it out of the uh, what, what the bar mats, you know. Yeah, <laughs> just pour it out. <laughs> nice. You can get a half a beer out of that. Ring Generally, that it's high point. Even, Matt shot. It's somewhere oh, yeah. between four percent and twelve. So yeah. Uh, <laughs> but when we read the uh, what uh, River Parks is planning, they said they're only going to serve uh, sixteen ounce beers in plastic cups. But they also said that they're going to serve. Um, uh, what is it? Commemorative steins yeah. is what they're going to sell. And I think that's what that's where the, this whole thing, right. They're that's just, their moneymaker. Right. And we were all talking about it earlier about uh, it's probably something you're going to have to buy for 25 bucks and mm-hmm. then you can get it refilled for, for 10, 10 bucks. Right. Yeah, 10 bucks. Right. Right. Fucking yeah, movie theater be. prices. Exactly. And they're just they're applying movie theater concession theory to uh, something that was really that was really nice. However, I will say this. I, w- I always try and see, see things on the both, both sides. sides yeah. Right. And, uh, I, man, I don't. If you're like me or like any of us, and you've been to jail at DL Moss, it's already a train wreck down. Hotel there. David L. <laughs> <laughs> don't you, Justin? Don't you have a suite down there? Uh, I, uh, I I have some rates that they give me. <laughs> they give me valet every time I go to pick him up. He's a high roller. They got like a bologna a sandwich times. on his pillow. It's just wrapped up real nice. I get special condiments. Hey, uh, and uh, that's uh, like beyond KY jelly or anything like that. 
I'll tell you, if you go to – and I don't mean to change the subject. But oh, no, But if you go please. to David L. Moss, don't worry about booking. It. Tell them in booking, I want to go straight to regular lockup. I want to go <laughs> – I want to go right to the real deal. Like, I want to go throw some bones. I want to play some dominoes with the real the guys. Oz I want to play a little bit of basketball. What's the closest to that. Oz? But I if, can if get you're in reg, if you're in booking, <laughs> it sucks. They, they 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 won't even let you use the girl's phone if there's not a girl out there. It's like there's two different sides, guys and girls, and you gotta you like, like they're not gonna school. let you use the girl's phone. Like seriously, this dude's been calling his mother for for seriously. There's the last two somebody. hours. Yeah, <laughs> that, this guy's hour. sitting there talking to <laughs> his mom hours. for two hours. And I'm like, seriously, I, I know you haven't talked for two years and you're just reconnecting for two years. You know, he just, two years he just wants to catch up. I really need that $800. That no, I, I don't even remember the $800. I, I remember distinctly 10 years ago, I loaned you $800. I need that back now. Napoleon behind the counter. Napoleon's going to be like, hey. <laughs> Dude, stop using the woman's phone. I'm like, it works just fine. It's just <laughs> fine. It does not have a problem working. And no if you're one else unfamiliar is with DL Moss, there is a men's battery of phones. And then on the other side, it, it would be the men's is on the left side. And then the women's battery of phones is going to be on the uh, right. And oftentimes the men's battery of phones don't work because men get really upset. <laughs> and I know there's just a lot of slamming on phones. So the women's bank always works. Like, that's 100% guarantee. So that's, De Niro at the end of Goodfellas right. was just... <clears throat> and this really does have a lot to do with Oktoberfest because you could end up there after you Oktoberfest. Could. More, More than easily. likely. More than yeah, likely, yeah. actually. The men's battery is so... I mean, it's angry because everyone's trying to pay their cricket bill at once. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, God damn it. And just hitting. It's terrible. Everyone's like, I need my cell phone. Not this. Oh. I can't pay the bill for my celly. Yeah. Uh, I can make unlimited free horrible. phone calls, not just the one. And it just turns into something terrible. I swear to God, oh. someone was trying to buy weed. Yeah. Like, yeah. like, seriously, when I get out tomorrow morning at 8 a.m., meet me at my house. <laughs> Like if you could meet me, you're making please. some connects in there. <laughs> like, yeah, just meet me. I, I I just I don't need much. I want a gram for twenty. That's what I'm looking for. <laughs> uh, whatever. We don't condone any use of drugs. Only drinking on this show. Sorry. No, dude. no, no. I don't condone it either. But oh, that's good. Picture. But it's gonna happen. But you're gonna so. need it once you leave Hotel Moss. For sure. <laughs> Hotel David L. I'm going to call it that from now on. So, uh, so final words on Oktoberfest? Thumbs down. Thumbs down. Thumbs down. Without a doubt. Thumbs down. I'd rather get a tent fall on top of me. Oh, that's <laughs> awful. It could happen, too. Too soon. To, it's been like five years. If I, if I can make 9-11 jokes like, after, oh. like two years after, <laughs> then gosh. seriously, uh, the tent falling on me, I, I should have made that joke the year it happened. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, All right. Not. <laughs> Pardon. I'm not sorry. I'm not. So uh, I don't know if anybody has noticed, but the lottery is uh, – our multi-state lottery that we're now a part of is up to – Four hundred and twenty-five million dollars. Uh, there's probably going to be a, the next drawing. I guess is wins tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, tomorrow night. Wednesday. Which you don't worry about it. I already won. Oh, you think so? No, I know. So. Oh, okay. So don't buy a ticket. You eating a lot of fortune cookies? What are you doing? Uh? <laughs> I, I eat lots of fortune cookies. <laughs> <laughs> has nothing to do with the fortune cookies. I just know. I, uh, okay, what's, I've what's your telltale sign? Power of positive thinking. Um, I chose birthdays of close people to me. Mm. You pick your numbers. You don't let the uh, machine. Because do. I honestly believe, just like lightning striking, it's uh, one of those deals where lightning I believe in strikes. lightning striking. It, it, too. I mean, I, I could go out and I call it. Like, I'm going to get struck by lightning. Just like I'm going to go to DL Moss. D right, yeah, right, tell, right, hotel right. Moss. <laughs> no, but y you know, it's one of those deals. Those people who go out there and they say, uh, you know, I'm going to choose my son's birthday and my daughter's birthday and my anniversary and all this stuff. And it's like, you know what? You're an idiot. Really, truly, you're an idiot. Because I understand as far as the probability is concerned, it's probably about the same. Yeah. But at the same one, time. One ticket is the same as I, I don't think your chances, especially in 
a drawing this large, I don't think it really changes until like your 300th ticket might change your chances of winning maybe a, a, a thousand yeah. of a percent. But what are your it. chances of actually winning yeah. with your kids' birthdays and your anniversary and whatnot? It seems it's the like same that. as a random number. Yeah. Yeah. I know it is, yeah. but at the same time, it seems like it would be much – like if I win – with my kids' birthdays and my anniversary and all that stuff, it seems like that shit is just like absolutely old people win with that shit all the fucking time. I mean, it's <laughs> like like my husband passed away and I've I've been playing his birthday. They win with that shit all the time. So I I, I don't know. I mean, fuck I old know. people. I, I guess I'm. That's exactly <laughs> fuck good old. for those old people. If you're listening, <laughs> if if there's old people listening to this. Mark Jones just said, fuck you, okay? If, uh, and he flipped you off, never gonna too. He flipped you off, too. Be you might as well get the video. Forever. I'm not sure if I... Uh, using the kid's birthday method, I'm not sure I want to win the lottery that way because it means I just fucking found out I have seven kids I didn't know about. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> They'll come out of the window oh. as soon as you win. Don't exactly. worry. Yeah. Exactly. Your phone will be ringing off the hook after you win. And isn't there a curse, too? There's, like, uh, some crazy percentage, like, 75% of the people who win, like, large jackpots are broke, broke within, in like, three year. years or something yeah. like that. Uh, so it's they like commit this whole suicide. Table's full of winners. <laughs> <laughs> I'm broke right now, <laughs> so. Already, we were all millionaires. Already, so Wait till we get ago. our paycheck from this podcast. Don't worry. <laughs> my plan is to be broke <laughs> after I win the oh, residuals. That's baby. my plan. <laughs> Do I? I said, uh, yeah, when Mark and I get that 25 cent check from Amazon, we'll cut <laughs> you. Split that bitch. Yeah. I want my cut. <laughs> if you don't mind, if I can get my cut, that'd be what good. What do we have to? Is it something, what do we get? It's like some cents. It's 37, I think. Oh, hell yes. Yeah. So I'm Good counting job. five people, 30 So we're like 7.3 cents a piece. Yeah. Is that, yeah. And plus, after you guys tell everybody you know to watch this and they subscribe, I mean, it's going to shoot it's up like to a, like 50 cents. Yeah, it's yeah. like a shampoo commercial. I don't yeah. feel nearly <laughs> as bad <laughs> about drinking tell. this free meal. Drink it. That's, <laughs> that's how you're getting paid. Although Mark, you did bring the rich and rare. So no. you're already living pretty good. Hold on. <laughs> no, there's no rich and rare. I don't know what here. the price tag says on that rich I know. and rare. 539. Mm. Back up there. Everybody Mark, says. I don't know if you'll ever be able to zoom in this far, but that's definitely proving <laughs> how rare this richness is. That's what do we call it? What and do we call overall it? Overall proof that we do actually we get we drink and we get drunk on yeah, drinks. These aren't props. This is not yeah. this We're is method this actors. Is We're not drinking apple rare, juice. This is rape. Well, well, I mean, maybe one day you'll see the outtakes from these episodes, and you'll see how awful, and how millions of hours, right? The last twenty minutes yeah. of every episode that we have to cut actually is. <laughs> how horrible. much of what I've said has to be cut? Oh None no, this is that's gold. gold oh, good. Good. We're, we're, all we're right, good. <laughs> gold is cool with me. <laughs> They're gonna uh, cut thirty minutes from out, now when dude. we're. Shit can yo. There's, yeah, we're not it, gonna be. It just falls off. We're just gonna end. be like you're hugging like each other, telling how much. I was supposed to wait thirty minutes. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> just how much we love each other. I love you. <laughs> you're you're a great musician. <laughs> I don't understand. You know, we're just be all over each other's dicks here. Our beards will all grow yeah. out yeah. somehow. And yeah, you're. A st- I love you. I love you. So what are we talking about now? I'm. I, I, I I'm need a. We were talking about October Fest still. Oh no, we about Rich and Rare. We moved on to Rampage. You want to go back to Oktoberfest? We can go back to Oktoberfest. We, we can go we were, back. But, we exhausted uh, that. Uh, I don't think I did. we really did because, I mean, the pitchers. Come on. You want, Okay, so what is it about the pitchers yeah. that you're going to miss so much? <laughs> other than other than we, we did say it's convenience, right? I mean, it's – Because I'm going to get belligerently hammered on one pitcher. I Are you going to drive? Of course. <laughs> He admits that he's a fucking... Uh, Abel might have a point. He's a, <laughs> no, I made the news already. <laughs> I mean, I've, I've been on the news. All right, no, for, honest he's to God. He's a vehicular menace, and he, <laughs> he admits it. That's great. I, I had a missed call one morning, and uh, I'm like, well, you know, who is this call from? Sometimes I call him back, sometimes I don't. So I call it back, and it's, it's Hotel David L. And I'm like, thank you. God dang it. I was like, I know my brother frequents that place. <laughs> he frequents that place. And 
so I figured, well, I can get up and have a cup of coffee and eat a oh, bagel please. before I Don't make any permission. effort to do anything regarding he's, this situation. Yeah. He's safe. Yeah, the chef. <laughs> I don't know where he is. <laughs> he's got three hots in the cots as of right now. <laughs> so I get up and I go sit down and, I, and I'm in the living room and I'm drinking coffee. And uh, I got the news on. It's, it's, I think it's Saturday morning. And I'm watching the Saturday, Saturday. morning news. And uh, there is footage of this champagne. News happens on Saturdays? Yeah, I know. I mean, honestly, you got to wake up early. early. No, no, no. Everybody eating breakfast and watching cartoons. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's news on, too, when, I mean, you all were talking about getting old last I believe it when I <laughs> see in episode it. two. But, uh. Either way, I'm watching the I'm watching the news and I see this footage of this champagne Chrysler Sp- Sebring convertible best oh, car ever halfway up in the fountain <laughs> at a fourth I don't know Bartlett Square Bartlett Square his, his car is in the fountain of Bartlett <laughs> Square right, that's your shit. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't. Yeah. I didn't destroy the fountain. I met the guy that destroyed the fountain, but I, I hit the roundabout. No, it, 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 like he, was was he was in the fountain. dart. He was in the fountain, and I was like, "Well, fuck. That's that's the call from David L. Moss. I know what I know what's Hotel going on." Hotel Moss. You, you see it on the news, and you're like, "Well, all right." Never I mind. know that guy. I, that's a that's a nice car. It's a ragtop Sebring. You know, it's a ragtop Sebring convertible. I mean, it's a nice car. You, it's champagne and well, well, well. Justin Cooper, welcome back to the Hotel Moss. <laughs> Your uh, poolside cabana is ready. <laughs> you, 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 you nailed it. When I was leaving, I was carrying my mattress above my head, <laughs> which they make you do now. Yeah. I mean, seriously, what the fuck? But like this uh, prisony uh, talk. Yeah, right they, 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 uh, <laughs> they, they make you carry that mattress over your head, and they said, uh, I, I saw a, 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 about six people at the picnic table, and they said, "You leaving already?" And I said, "Yeah, I'm leaving already." And he goes, "They go, we'll see you soon." And I'm like, "Fuck." <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> you. You suck. <laughs> like, I'm not coming back. And then Sad I came know. back. So Fuck whatever. <laughs> They've seen you a million times there, so they know. They know me. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. All right, uh, before we switch over to the up-and-coming uh, haters corner, which is just going to be awful, I can imagine, because we, I can see the amount of We're drinks that we've had. up, right? Right, now. the rich and rare is just, it's flowing. Flowing like wine. Rape and rampage. Uh, I thought I'd do a real softball topic here. Uh, oh. Just to... Toss it up. Here it goes. Let's hit it out of the park. When you're attracted to a, the sexiest jobs you've ever seen a woman do, like when you're working... Maybe like or just playing whatever the sexiest thing, the sexiest jobs for a woman. Hot dog on a stick. Where Toll she's booth. That's or, what I had. <laughs> that's the first door that we were hot dog on shit. a stick. Rich and I had an entire conversation on the way over here about hot dog on a stick. The uh, dressed like a old style uh, airline attendant. Right. Just the, the blue, blue, red, yellow jacking off smock the, the lemons. I've never seen he that never that saw limited. that. I was like, I I can remember like back in the day, and I don't even know if we have a hot dog on the stick anymore. But, uh, it's been a while since I've beat up, I've seen one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but there was a, you know, there was a point where I was an adolescent, and uh, going to the mall was just, uh, it, it was an excuse to shoplift. Yeah. And play video games, and you know. And hide in the racks. And hide in the racks, right? There, there's a, there's a secession that you have mm-hmm. when you're a, just an, a tiny kid. You like to hide in the racks, and you just hide from your parents. And then you get older, you go hang out with your, you actually hang you out hide with friends, in the dressing rooms, and. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and film we, women peeing. <laughs> Doesn't uh, everybody? No, white but kids then, don't have to hide when they go into stores. Oh, well, okay. You, you, you didn't, you didn't show up at the mall on a huge <laughs> school bus from a small town? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Adam. <laughs> oh, he showed up in a car, yeah, a yeah. four-door a car. Fucking special. A oh. sedan. Mm, <laughs> Sbarro. No, How do you say that? There's just like, there was a point. Sbarro. I remember, <laughs> like, Sbarro. The summer between like maybe my eighth grade and my uh, ninth grade year, where you just I, like you're eating pizza or whatever in the fucking food court, and you're like, holy shit, were those girls over there at hot dog on the stick always jerking off a huge tub of lemons? Yeah. What is with that? I don't know if you guys ever seen. You've I, never seen hot that. I missed it. Okay, hot dog on the stick, real quick. I'll, I'll do a little background. Uh, obviously, their biggest 
uh, product was corn dogs, right? Mm-hmm. They'd fucking make you a hand dip corn dog, whatever. And hand the, dipped. Hand dipped. Uh, and there were never, ma- there's never a male employee. It's all female staff. Oh, young. And as at young, they yeah. usually try and go for 17 to like first couple grade college era. Like a Hooters s- rejects. Hooters rejects. They. That's what Adam was saying. Average face, but just Great. big Great knockers. knockers. I just mean, they're, big they're, knockers. they're good. They're good. Right. right. And then, like, and they're phallic hats. Those big, tall, stupid yeah, hats. Yeah. And, like, Elmer Fudd duck hunting hats. was horrible. <laughs> but it's, like, blue, orange, red, and yellow. They're anyway. great. And then the show was, and Adam was not even aware of this. It's crazy. Was uh, when they got low on lemonade, uh, the centerpiece of their whole display, the little mall kiosk, or not kiosk, a restaurant. He's got a little thing of it here. Was that there was this huge? Ac- that's a dude doing that's it. A that's a dude, that's and nobody wants to see that. Take that off of there. Fuck that that shit. You're yeah. ruining a lot of. A memory. dude has ever done that. Was that was jacking that lemonade like it was his business. There Who was a filled huge that acrylic tub of fucking lemonade, and it would you you drink, and it was it. it, it I'm sure it was responsible for 50 percent of juvenile diabetes in the United States. Diabetes. Diabetes. Say it right. Juvenile diabetes. hand. But when it ran burn. out, the girls actually walked up these little stairs. <laughs> And on either side of this huge acrylic tub, and they had like these special steel mm-hmm. paddles, just these big little potato where, mashers or something, right? Where they added the ingredients. They're like, Misty, the lemonade's out again. We all got out there and do it. <laughs> so they'd fucking get up there, and they had these goddamn steel implements, and they would have this fucking, you know, like we said, average faces, huge racks. Even in this picture I'm looking at here, average to play damn horrible it. faces. And huge racks, and they just fucking titty fucked that big tub of lemonade, man. And just, it was the show. And I remember thinking, like, when I was that summer, I was like 14, I was like, holy shit, has this been going on the whole time? Have I been blind? Is, it, is this Did a I new just thing? wake up to this? If no. I were a recruiter, like, I would go to the, the Amish community. Look at the fucking smile on her face. Just, I, would, I would find the Amish community, and I would be like, <laughs> you guys churn butter like a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, make me some lemonade. <laughs> Look like, at him just come on. Just go. going to town. Look at that, Adam. I'm, I can't. No, <laughs> he, no honestly, he's there's, wrapped up like a straight up Africa from where I'm sitting. Night. There's a... There's a reason I probably didn't notice this going on. You uh, blacked it out, maybe? I don't know if I blacked it out. And it's, I, I was talking to Rich about this earlier. I have a real hard time like staring at things. I'm not comfortable staring at things. And so my, when I figured out the whole routine of the hot dog on a stick, which was uh, bring these girls in that are average looking, but yet somehow very appealing. That big, for me, it was like a glance and go. I never stuck around for the show. Just I kind did the same thing as strip bars. Yeah. Side here. yeah. <laughs> Can't look at the sun too long. I don't want to see the whole thing. <laughs> yeah. just, oh, okay, that's good. Don't and then I move on. Yeah. You know, move on to the bathroom for a while and collect myself and, and then run for the door. Yeah. That's what I do. So, yeah. Look, I did, I, look at her just goes. fucking smiling. Jerking just off a bag of lemons. It's just great. I want to knock <gasps> that smile off her face. Now, it reminds me of there's Led ridiculous. Zeppelin. There's the, there's the biggest steel implement. We were talking about that horse shit. Squeeze so. my lemon <laughs> till the juice runs now my we're leg. That. I get one dollar off of every single you sell now <laughs> because it's on our podcast. Just, just don't, just edit it out, please. <laughs> There's going to be this like 30 second bit uh, 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 on our podcast where Justin's like. <laughs> <laughs> Just blank. Like, what did he say? People are like, what is he saying? What is he saying? I'm saying squeeze my lemon till the juice runs down my leg, which means jack me off. That's 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 it's that's probably bad, inspired right? by Zeppelin. Hot Dog on a that's Stick. That's a Led Zeppelin song. You stole that from Led Zeppelin. No, I didn't steal that from Robert Plant. He never said it before I ever did. <laughs> I was born in '83, and I'm pretty sure I said it before he, they ever did. So. All right, what's another sexy job? Off. What's the sexiest well, job you've seen wait, a woman well, do? What was the job we were actually talking about? The hot dog hot, on the a stick, dog on ladies. A stick. This Sean, is a Sean, long give a little, segment, too. Give a little Can one. I say the girl at the uh, at the health department? 
<laughs> I mean, she's touched my balls. Sense. She's touched my wiener. She's the girl like, who gives me my VD pills. That, yeah, I mean, I mean, it's sexy it's, 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 that, that's pretty damn sexy. She's pretty damn sexy. She, she's, she's grabbing my balls and shit, and I don't have to pay her. I just have to pay the front desk. I like the way he said, can I say the girl? <laughs> I, I'm just saying. That that, I, I, I'm going to throw that out there. That she's girl. pretty sexy. She looks pretty good. And she's grabbing my balls, and I don't have to pay her directly. She put did, she the tip up? Did, did she say anything nice to you? Oh, she said lots of nice stuff. She said lots of nice stuff. <laughs> Come on, man. Of What's some examples grab- of what she said? Oh, oh What's shit. The nicest she said, thing she said I, I, I've never seen a wiener that big. She said that. No, she didn't say that. No, she didn't. She say really that. didn't say that. I, that's that's that's. I like absurd. to like do like off. Comments. That's what you heard. Like, people want to say like, no, no. I've never seen a helmet so shiny. You know, it's like if, if my helmet's so. shiny, I think I'm I never have shiny. other stuff to worry about. I'm gonna be like, what's <laughs> the, what's going on here, lady at the health department? Why is my helmet shiny? <laughs> no, she's really getting ready to say oily T zone. <laughs> <laughs> That's now the funniest thing you've ever said on this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. Thank you. Good night. Hey. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's gonna be dead air from you. It's That's just gonna podcast, be. So. R- Drinks with Rich. <laughs> just ten more episodes. You're done. You, 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 you've Going now retired. retired. Talking by myself. <laughs> Drinks with Rich and Mark's house. All right, you guys want to get house. a good stuff now? The haters corner. Are we going to hate. Yeah. Well, I I, I just want to hear about other people at the health department if nobody minds telling me uh, what happened. I think the haters' corner is going to take up a lot of shit. Let's go. I have a lot of hate. You want to go? Look at this guy. This guy's seething. He's raging. Let's take a break real quick. Let me check the uh, cameras and look at the time. How much time? Look at the time. And uh, we're going to go smoke. (laughs) We're going to go have a smoke. Smoke. Everybody uh, grab a cold drink and we'll be right back. We're going to get drunker. Later. I forgot there were cameras. This guy needs. Huh? A snake. Hey guys, thanks for watching the Drinks with Mark and Rich. I'm Mark. That's Rich. He is making a uh, a badass snake. Um, anyway, the episode you just watched went a little long. We're going to cut it off this week, so stay tuned and we'll pop the next one, the finish up of the Cooper Brothers, uh, here in a couple more days. Thanks. It's my snake. A hooded snake. <laughs> <laughs>